it's finally here. Let's go. A 3D printer frame for an electric inline skate. Will it break? Let's find out. We are going to see if this actually works. On the last video, I talked to you guys about 3D printing a frame. So I will test these guys, see what breaks, what doesn't break, try to improve the design and keep making it until we actually make something that everyone can, can 3D print at home and make your own. So the frame is printed in a few parts, right? It has one side, other side, and other parts in the middle, and use screws to actually hold it all together. If you try to print a frame in one go, in one piece, it will break right here, right? It will break right here, always. It doesn't matter what you try, it will always break. So I'm using the same technique I used on my old builds, right? You get two side panels, and you have the things that attach the boot, and you have and you have a cover down here to actually protect the wires and to add a little bit more rigidity, right? But there is actually a big difference from my older builds. So my old builds worked pretty fine. I never broke them. I 3D printed them in ABS plastic like 10 years ago and they worked fine. What's the big difference about this one? Since this one uses a hub motor, I have a lot of torque coming right here on, coming right here where the screw goes onto the base. So I needed to make a design that can actually withstand the torque and can withstand the, and can withstand the bumps and all the things that skating has. So I expect these to fail right here where the, the mortar mounts. I, I have a few ideas how to reinforce this already. So, but I just I already did this, let's test it out and see how it actually breaks, if it breaks at all. So let's go. Also, this time I'm gonna be using a fanny pack to hold the batteries. You have both batteries here and with a cable to go from my waist to my legs. You notice though that I only have the motor on the rear wheel. Here in the front, I actually put a normal wheel, but I can actually put a motor here. So the frame is symmetrical, symmetrical. So you can put two motors or just one motor and on one normal wheel. So I did that to make it a little bit lighter and a little bit cheaper for you if you guys want to do a just one wheel kind of build, right? Because sometimes you don't need four motors and it's actually better for you to have a much lighter skate. So we'll be either testing if the frame is strong enough and if one motor is actually good enough because I'm pretty sure it's strong enough. Well, let's see how how fun it is. So first of all, let's start putting the, the wires. Yeah, you know, I never liked the idea of wires, but uh, the skate is so much lighter. It kind of makes sense. So I'll put this under my pants going like this. I think these wires add to the complexity of actually putting skates. It's one of the biggest turndowns for people that don't skate to actually come into our sport because it takes so long to put the skate on. People just like, yeah, I'll rather walk, <laughs> right? So we know that is a lot of fun and it's worth it. But I've always thinking about how to make it easier. So this was just like putting a USB, right? I put it the wrong way. Uh, I put it the right way and it's like, no, it's the wrong way. And then I took off the wires and then put it back in. And it's like, oh no, now it's the wrong way. It was right before. And then I took it back and put it on again. So, you know, this is a hassle, that's for sure. But will the weight difference actually be worth it, right? So let's test it out. So I will also be using a helmet for this, you know. These are 3D printed frames after all. We don't know when they will break, so I, I'd rather be safe. And of course, some knee pads as well. Right, I'm using the knee pads also to get the wires inside it. I'll just put the, the, the wings first. And then when I get these straps, the secondary straps, that's where I put the wires inside, like this one. Nice, so let's go. Okay, next, I'll be putting the batteries inside this funny pack. Then I'll put them on my back. Actually, no. Okay, now comes, now is the hassle, right? I have to plug these into the batteries before I put them in because it's really hard, because it's really, really hard to put it. Okay, no. You know what, let's put this first. It's correct. And then I have to rotate it. I have to rotate it to the other side, get the other wire and put. So it's one battery 
for eat. So it's one battery for eat food, okay? So it's still not ideal. I would rather have one battery for both feet with an electronic system to actually power both skates well. But, uh, but if I get just one battery, I, have, I would have to have a bigger battery and it's more expensive to actually build these custom because these are hoverboard batteries so it's so they're so cheap and so easy to find in the market right now so i would rather use two batteries and keep it like this okay next turn on the remote control <gasps> it didn't work like at all yes i was right i should have tested better anyway it already broke let just <laughs> let you guys see you see I've predicted that they would break there, but I figured it would at least be a, uh, a couple minutes before it breaks. One possible solution is to actually use a metal plate down there. You 3D print the frame, and you have just this one metal part that you actually screw to the frame, and then the, then the metal frame actually holds the torque, right? So that's one of the reasons. I'll just try to stand up on these and see how they actually withstand my weight and so it's already broken so now let's just keep breaking it so let's see where else it actually fails i think next next thing will break is the front wheels right because it's the same weak point oh my god there's so much wind here what is happening oh my god the fanny pack can't withstand the weight of the batteries just so heavy you see really hard to actually hold it Okay, let's see if standing up it will actually work. One of them turn off, okay? Okay, since I'm standing on it, it's actually holding the power a little bit. So it actually works, oh my God. Okay, now we have proof that two motors work quite well. Oh my God, I'm so afraid of testing these. Uh, I actually figured out more things that actually are not right. One of the things is the front wheels, okay? You see the front wheels aren't aligned because of the way I put the things here, the, the screws are, aren't at the same distance. So what keeps happening is my foot keep going like this or like this because they are, the wheels are not aligned. So I need to do a better job of aligning the wheels. So I'm gonna revamp everything about this test, right? And do a whole new frame. So let's give it a really good bump on the ground and see how it breaks. Yep, here is what I thought would be what happened. Right? But in the front, the front thing's fine. So, other than the motor spinning point, the point where it holds the torque, everything held fine. It is holding my weight. And now I just go back to the drawing board. Let's make a way better torque support for this. I'm not going to do an open fork kind of uh, support. I'm going to make a, okay. I'll put a reinforced weight and I will use Probably, maybe, I will use a metal support, a metal bracket to hold this, okay? And I'll try to next thing, next time, use a shadow boot because the shadow boot, can, I can use my own sneakers on it and it's going to be more practical for, for testing anyway. So, you see it? You have to test, you have to break it and you have to repeat until you get something that actually works. So let's talk about the Discord server, right? We now have an open Discord server for our community. You can find the link in the video description below as well as in the first comment. We still have the members area for those who donated on Ko-fi. Those who chose membership will have a special role and exclusive members only channel. Of course, other than just me, there is an admin who is a friend that is coming to help me and our community. So join the server to talk about electric landscapes or other electric vehicles. Maybe talk about air gear, this kind of stuff. To find other people that like the same kind of stuff. Also, I already 3D printed the other frame. So full test coming soon. Spoiler, this one actually works. So let's storm the streets.